welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome my name is Mackenzie and this is sorority recruitment 101 the only channel dedicated to answering the questions you may have about what it's like to be in a sorority in college and what it's like to go through sorority recruitment at a big university as you can tell by the title of this video today I'm gonna to be telling you guys all of the leadership opportunities that sororities have to offer there are honestly so many different opportunities for you to become a leader in your chapter if that's something you're interested in but before I get into any of that you guys know the drill make sure you subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you never miss a new video. I post new videos every single Monday and Friday answering your questions about sorority recruitment and also to share about my experience being in a sorority at the University of Alabama. Also, if you would like to join our sorority recruitment 101 family, we would love to have you. So make sure you're following us on all of our social media. It is so fun getting to interact with you guys and I am dying to see which sororities you all end up in. So make sure you drop a follow on everything. I'll be sure to link all of our socials in the description box below. Also, a lot of you have said you've been watching my videos since the beginning and that they really helped you with your recruitment process and I can't tell you how much that means to me. It means so much to me just because I wish I had someone to give me the honest truth about sorority recruitment when I was going through and the fact that I was able to be that person for you guys and I actually helped you is so cool and I'm so happy for you guys and I can't wait to watch you guys enjoy being members of your sorority. All right, we're done with all of that. Let's get right into this video. So like I've said in a lot of my previous videos, one of the best things a sorority has to offer is leadership opportunities. This is not only a great way to get involved in your chapter, but it also furthers your professional development and helps you change your chapter for the better. Now, also, like I said, there are plenty of ways to lead in your chapter, both big and small. The biggest leadership positions in every chapter are on the executive council. I'm going to go through every position on the executive board and tell you a little bit about their responsibilities. If I leave any positions out, I am so sorry. I know executive boards are different at every school and within every sorority. So I'm going to list off all the ones that I had in my sorority at Alabama. The first one and most important is the president of your sorority. They're the leader of the entire chapter and they help plan everything and make all final decisions. They also are a big liaison with the advisors of your chapter and also with the national headquarters of your sorority. The second position is vice president. Now in my chapter, vice president handled all of the academic portion of our chapter. One of the things they're in charge of is reminding the chapter about academic deadlines set by the university. This could be about scheduling your advising appointment to make your schedule for the following semester or letting you know when the last possible time is to drop a class. Another thing they're in charge of is keeping on top of everybody for their grades. Like I've said in previous videos, GPA is very important to sorority. So the VP stays on top of everyone to make sure they're doing their best. If someone was struggling with the class, I know our VP set up a tutoring program where upperclassmen could help younger members if they felt they were a pro at a certain subject. This is really helpful, especially for the younger members who are still getting assimilated to college life. The third position on exec is treasurer. Now the treasurer position is kind of self-explanatory. They're in charge of setting the budget, sticking to it, and collecting dues from members. They're also in charge of collecting fines if you receive any of those. The next position on exec is the secretary. The secretary is in charge of attendance for any meetings or events. They also take notes of what happened at every meeting to send out to every member of the sorority afterwards. The next position on exec is the standards or personnel chair. It's called different things by every chapter. In Kayo, we called it our personnel chair. Personnel chair is all about keeping the members in line and making sure no one gets in trouble. Before the social event, they get up in front of the chapter to let them know the rules of the event. If you break some of the rules or you get in trouble, odds are you'll have a personnel meeting. And if you do something really bad, you might have to be put on social probation, which means that you can't attend social events until further notice. Now, you don't only get in trouble at social events, you can also get in trouble with your academics. If your GPA is below the GPA required to be a member, then you might have privileges taken away from you as well until you get your GPA back up. So long story short, the standards chair is there to keep everyone in line and make sure everyone is following the rules. The next position on exec is panelenic delegate. The panelenic delegate is the representative of your chapter that attends monthly meetings with all of the other sororities on campus. These meetings are led and put on by your university's panelenic council. A panelenic delegate from each sorority across campus attends these meetings to talk about how sororities are run and what they can do to help them be better. After those meetings, each panelenic delegate goes back to her chapter and tells them what they talked about during the meeting. The next position on exec is new member educator. And sometimes if your chapter is really big, you have two. The new member educators are basically the moms of the new pledge class coming in. They teach the new pledge class all about the sorority and also help them get assimilated into college life. So basically new member educators are mentors for all of the new members. The next position on exec is recruitment chair. And like the new member educator if your chapter is really big or recruitment at your university is really big, you will have multiple of these. Your recruitment chairs are in charge of planning and prepping everything for recruitment. They distribute jobs to everyone in the chapter and then teach everyone what to do. That way recruitment runs smoothly, not only for your chapter, but for the PNMs as well. The last position on the main executive board is house manager. The house manager is the liaison between your chapter, your house mom, the house staff, 
and the chapter house advisors. They basically are there to make sure everything in the physical house is running smoothly and to inform the chapter on updates from the house mom and the housing corporation. Now at Alabama, sororities have meals at their house every single day. So sometimes the chefs in the house will go to the house manager to ask the chapter for suggestions on the menu. The house manager is also in charge of letting the board know what kind of snacks to order for the house, which is a very cool position to be in. Now I wanna let you know that being a part of the main executive board definitely takes a lot of your time and energy. But if you still wanna get involved in your chapter, just not on as big of a scale, there are leadership opportunities for you. Some of these include social chair, sisterhood chair, and philanthropy chair. Social chair is pretty self-explanatory. They plan every social event for the chapter. The philanthropy chair is in charge of communicating with all philanthropical organizations your chapter is involved in and also plans all fundraising events. For Cayo in Alabama, our philanthropy chair also planned all of our wish granting parties, which is such a fun thing to do. In Cayo, our philanthropy chair also planned all of our make-a-wish granting parties. So your responsibilities as philanthropy chair will really depend on your sorority and your university. And finally, the sisterhood chair is in charge of planning and executing sisterhood events for the entire chapter. Two of my favorite sisterhood events were definitely the pumpkin carving that we did every year and also the one time we rented out a movie theater to watch Beauty and the Beast all together. Now those three positions do still take up a decent amount of your time, but I know my chapter and a lot of other chapters offer smaller leadership positions for you to get involved in. Two of my favorite smaller positions in Cayo were our career and personal development chair and our health and wellness chair. Our career and personal development chair gave us a lot of professional tips and told us about events on campus we could attend to help further our professional development. And our health and wellness chair was there to teach us not only about physical health, but also mental health, which is so important during your college years. She would talk about all the resources we had on campus and give us lifestyle tips. That way we could become the best and healthiest version of ourselves. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video, talking about some of the leadership positions that sororities have to offer. Now there's a lot more and they definitely vary by sorority. So once you become a member, definitely reach out to the executive board to see what there is to get involved in. Being a leader in your sorority can help you develop some skills that you'll need once you graduate and you join the real world. As always, you guys, make sure you subscribe down below and comment or DM me some topics that you want me to make a video about next. You know I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.